attention? Safe? Huh? Hello, San Marcos. This is the weekly Lady Bug Out Report, San Marcos News Live, where we will discuss ways that you can prepare you and yourself and your family for urban and natural disasters. Lock it in live, San Marcos. San Marcos' own weekly news report, Lady Bug Out Series. Lock it in live, San Marcos. Sister Survival Disaster Preparation, Lady Bug Out. It's probably actually going to have to filter out some just before we like to get the air pressure out and the water pressure get going. There we go. And now we're getting pressure. So you're pumping water from the river. Right. And this is clean water coming out this end right here. Cool. And it's got a convenient little clip, so we'll just hook that to the uh, that. ring press point. That's too cool for school. And you can just see it fill in the pack. Wow. Look around the other side here. Yeah, and that was 50 pumps, and it's already halfway full. It's a two-liter bladder, so it seems that this thing can pump about one liter per 50 pumps on average, at least with a clean filter. I don't know. If I use this thing a lot and it starts to get dirty, I'm probably going to see a reduction in that performance, but still, it's really easy to pump. Uh, I don't really feel drained at all using this pump versus some of the ones I used years ago, Boy Scouts. Yeah, this is a very nice one. However... They cost a little bit, but if you think about how much is my life worth, how much is clean drinking water worth to me, you know, it's a pretty simple price. But I found this one on Amazon, I think it was about 219 I want to say, and manufacturer suggested retail price is somewhere around 240 right now, so you can get a good deal out there if you look hard enough, at least shave a little off the top. And then how much would a replacement filter cost for something like that? What I was looking at, since it's that silver impregnated ceramic, it of course is going to be probably the most expensive part, and it was. Uh, I think it was running about $170 for a replacement filter. Mm -hmm. However, if you consider that this one lasts 13,000 pumps, if I don't drop it, if it doesn't go through extreme weather changes, it should last. However, if there's a crack in that pink element I showed you earlier, it's completely ineffective and you have to junk the whole thing. It will not purify water. You will get sick. So you have to get, take good care of your equipment if you want it to keep taking care of you. There's a good lesson there. So when you pack that bad boy up, make sure it's around something soft, I guess, or be mindful how right. you're packing. I put mine around like a poncho and a, and a, pair of, a spare pair of pants just in my bug out bag just to make sure that it's cushioned from any falls I might take or whatnot. And when storing this, this one's not so important to keep us clean, but this one's got to go back in its little bag. Because so you don't want to cross contaminate your. Because uh, it's all going in this major bag, so if this guy gets stuck in there uh, next to your output hose or your, your raw water intake, I guess, uh, you could pass whatever disease is in the water onto your clean water hose. And then do you go home and sanitize those hoses then after a camp trip or yeah, something? Yeah, after a camp trip you'll uh, definitely want to dry them out and you know take it apart. I'll probably end up, see how it's already gotten just a little dirtier alone just from that one run. It used to be solid sand and pink. I don't know how well the camera's going to capture it, but uh, you can see some of the sediment it captured on the unit. Sure so it's, it's doing its job and working just fine. And then do you clean that ceramic then also? Yeah, you can use nothing more than a Scotch-Brite pad and that'll clean the ceramic just fine. So, I mean, those are cheap to find at, you know, your HEB, your Walmart, wherever you may shop. And I'll just go ahead and cap this back up, keep them from taking any debris in. And that water you just pumped, that was all purified water right into your camel pack. Right, now I have two liters of water. I mean, this is still the output hose. I'll put that back up in a minute. But now that's going 
going right back into this pouch right here. Just slide it down in there. And now I've got two liters of potable water that can go on my back and I can drink on the go. And if you consider, that's two liters of clean water and the ability to make liters upon liters upon liters upon liters of more clean water. No matter whether there's electricity, no matter whether there's running water, no matter whether the city filtration plant's working, I mean, to me, I'm completely indifferent at this point. I'm ready for whatever. Um, well, I guess everyone says that. We'll find out. I feel that I'm a lot more prepared than I was the day before just by uh, taking some simple steps to try and uh, improve my situation. And I'm uh, kind of hoping viewers out there might, you know, they not go quite so far so fast, like do all this. I didn't do this all in one day. This is, you know, I got this maybe two years ago. I mean, it, it just takes time. and. You know, some people feel like things are getting weirder, faster, and that they gotta hurry up. And uh, you know, if you had to get one today, this is just 30 bucks, and it's the most convenient. I mean, it's not gonna do what you just saw with the uh, kitted in pocket, but you'll have clean water no matter wherever you are. I mean, that's very versatile right there. Well, you think about how much people spend on entertainment, and um, this is something that can save your your life, your family's life, and help out your neighbors and. I appreciate what you've shared with us today. What do we know now about this water here that we well, put those... final thought here is that those pills were the cheapest. And, and this is a continuing theme in survival and, and life in general, is that you get what you pay for. And those tabs were maybe like five to eight bucks. And if you'll notice this video right now, I mean, even uncut and raw, it hasn't been more than 15, 20 minutes. So this is still not yet potable. This is not yet ready to drink. This is still contaminated, possibly. And I just want to point out, for $30, you can have pretty much a water bottle that purifies as you go for hundreds of refills and it's instantaneous you know we're Americans most of us I mean we're we're all about instant gratification and in a survival situation and we're thirsty and scared yes we're gonna want water instantly and that's as a fast way to do it right there the Berkey Sport and uh, I'm a big fan of Berkey products you know, not paid by them or anything but uh, definitely a big fan and then the next segment when we get together, Stephen, we're going to show the folks different ways that they can start a, a fire to boil the water. Right. Um, and if folks were going to boil the water, I guess all these formats could be used and then they could uh, then boil the water. Or I guess boiling water is really not even necessary with most of these techniques. No, huh? most of these techniques will prevent the need for having to do that, uh, to boil water. But it's good to know because, you know, let's just say you, this backpack gets stolen or whatever, and now what I've got you know, just my stainless steel water bottle. Well, now I need to know what can I do to purify this water in here. This, let's say I just dipped it in the river there and I've got this. Well, now I've got to, you know, start a fire. And so we'll get into things like fire steels and, uh, and tender and things like that in the next video segment. But uh, fire will be an integral part of making clean water as just a basic skill. So. All right. Well, Mr. Chef Tall, we certainly do appreciate your time and enthusiasm. And uh, this is the first of many parts of the Lady Bug Out series, Sister, Surval Sister Survival Disaster Preparation. Lock it in live San Marcos. Thank you again, Stephen. Well.